Good morning, welcome to Year 3 Computing Coding Using Scratch Session 2. Today we're going to be using the vocabulary algorithm, debugging, persevering and tinkering and our objective is to create an algorithm where the costume of the sprite changes. Now this is session two and if you miss session one it might be worth going back and watching that video before you move on to this session. First thing to do is to go onto the website and there are, as I said last time, lots of great things for you to have a little go at. The first thing we're going to do today is to start creating. All right, I'm going to get rid of, as soon as it opens, the tutorials, which you are welcome to have a go. So here we are. Well done to all those people that had a go last week, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this, to me, this is what computing is about. Computing is about coding. It's not about writing a story on your um, on your laptop. It's about having a go at coding and trying new things. So this is our stage and this is our sprite. A sprite is a two dimensional character on a screen that we can change and animate and move around. This large white space is where we're going to write our code. And down the left hand side is all the codes that we can give our sprite to move and do all the things that we want it to move. And they're all color coded to help us remember where they are a little bit easier. So today, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of Scratch. Here, here's our Scratch. We're gonna get rid of him off our stage because we're gonna have some different characters today. So let's find our first new character. Now, our objective is to create a sprite that changes. And we are going to have a go at creating a fish tank. So we're going, we need some fish. So we're going to choose a sprite. And you can see along the top, there's lots of choices. Go for animals. All right. And if you scroll down, they're all in alphabetical order, you'll notice. If you scroll down, there's some fish. And if I click on it, it shows you some different ship fish. Just click on, on that and you've automatically got a fish. All right, I'm going to move him down my screen a little bit. And I want two fish, so I'm going to go straight away and pick another fish. So they are going to look exactly the same at the first, but we're going to change them. So let's have a look. Let's scroll down. E F fish. Click on there. So now I've got two fish that I can animate. All right. And they're looking very lonely on a very boring background. So what I'm going to do is immediately go to the stage. Again, if you are new to this, have a look at session one. Have a, choose a background. And I want you to choose a background that I'm telling you to do. Last week, we could choose our own background. Scroll all the way down. And I want you to choose an underwater background. Underwater one or underwater two. That is up to you, but it needs to be an underwater one today. And please choose fishes rather than the crab or the other uh, sea animals that you see, because we're going to use them later. So here are my two fish on my sea background, and it already looks quite interesting. Now I'm going to change the size of my bottom fish, of this fish, because he's a little bit big, I think, to be a bottom feeder. So can you see all these instructions here? Don't need to worry too much about them, but it says size 100, 100%. All right, if I backspace that, I know half of 100 is 50. So I'm going to go for 50 and it makes them a little bit smaller, but you can tinker around on what size fish you want. All right, so now I've got a small fish and a large fish, okay? We're going to start straight away with the algorithm we began last week that we created. So I'm going to start on my little fish and I'm going to move him 10 steps. I'm going to make sure that he doesn't fall off or out of that fish tank when he gets to the edge. If he's on edge bounce and I want him to go from left to right. 
and you can see my y is a variable. We spoke about that last week, so I could change the number of steps I want him to move. So I'm going to move him 30 steps. And if I click on there, I can see my big fish is now moving. And I want to control him, just like last week. So I'm going to push my control button, scroll up. So I'm going to control him with the green flag. So now if I push the green flag, there's my fish going backwards and forwards. So perfect. I'm going to click on my big fish at the top. And I'm going to do exactly the same. When the green flag is clicked, he's going to move 10 steps. And if he's on the edge, he's going to bounce and he's going to go from left to right. So there's my big fish. Just a quick reminder, if I click on this flag, it will move this fish. If I click on this one, it will move the bottom fish. If I click on this green flag, it will move them both. So this is where we got last week. So well done. But we used the Sprite, didn't we, last week? We used Scratch. But everyone for keeping up so far. All right, just rewind the video if you get a little bit stuck. Now, we're going to move on to today's learning. So I'm going to choose my big fish. All right. Now, I want to change his costume. Costume is what you wear on stage, and I know some of you already changed costumes you've had to nip to the back of the stage to change costumes sometimes if you're in a production all right unfortunately we missed the christmas productions last year didn't we so let's go to i've got our code here click on the costumes and you will see four fish okay now if I get rid of, you see this little bucket with a cross on, if I get rid of that fish, my fish changes. I like this fish. I'm going to keep this fish. All right. I'm going to keep that fish. I'm going to look, click on this fish and get rid of him. And I'm going to click on this fish and get rid of him. So now I've got a big blue fish at the top and a little fish at the bottom. Just move him. Okay. And you can see his costume has changed there. Perfect, well done. I could do the same with this fish. If I click on him and go to costumes, I could delete that one and he's changed to a blue and I don't want to do the same. I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to delete that one because I quite like the yellow fish. So now I've got a yellow fish at the bottom and a blue fish at the top. And if I remember, currently I'm on costumes and go back to my code. If I click on my green code. All right. The algorithm has stayed the same for each fish, but they are different colours. All right. Well done. So you can choose your fish that way. The other thing you can do is I'm going to show you I'm clicking on my blue fish. I'm going to the costume. Because I want to, him to change his costume as he moves up and down the fish tank. So I'm going to right click on this fish here. And if I right click, it says duplicate, which is copy, or export, which is move it somewhere else. I'm going to duplicate it. So now I have two fish. The same, I've got fish B, and this one has given him a name of fish B2. So to make and help me remember, I'm going to remember that fish B is blue. And I'm going to go to fish B2, and I'm going to change his colour. Now this is my fish that I can change, and these are the colours, and I could use a paintbrush. I can rub out if I make mistakes. I just want to concentrate today on choosing a colour. I like that purple, but you can move your arrows up and down. Oh, I like that purple. So if I come off that, 
and fill my bucket. You may have used the bucket for changing colors in a different program. I can change this fish into to be in purple. I'm going to choose another color. Let's go all the way down here. Oh, maybe a little bit green. Yeah, let's make him a little bit of a darker green. So this one changes the brightness. This one takes hand the depth of the color. And this one just changes the color. OK, so I'm going to have maybe a bright green. And I'm going to take my fill and I'm going to make his fins green. All right, and maybe this bit of his body oh, and that fin as well. There is. So I've got a blue fish, a fish B, and I've got a pink fish, pink and green fish, fish B2. Now, if I go back to my code, all right, he's currently on a pink. If I go back to the costumes and click on the blue, he would be blue. Now, I haven't told my code to change costumes. So when I click my green flag, he's still going to stay blue. All right. There he is. So I need to change my algorithm, my set of instructions to make him change colour. So if I look down, if I go to looks, because that's what we need to do. We need to change what he looks like. There is a code that says switch costume. So I'm going to take that, put it at the top of my algorithm. When the green flag is clicked, switch to costume B2. OK, and then scroll down. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I don't want him just to change colour and then stay that colour. I want him to go backwards and forwards. So I need another switch costume down here. Now, just like my variables in white, you can see on this set of instructions, this code, switch costume, it's a bit darker there and there's a little arrow and it's another variable. I can change the colour, I can change it. So I've got fish B showing up for costume B, fish blue, and then fish B2, which was pink. So now if I click, I can't see any change. And I need to explain to you why. The code is correct, the algorithm is correct. But it's moving so fast from changing costume, change costume, that we can't see it with our eyes. So we need to put some control in there. We need to put a wait. Wait one second. So switch to costume B2. Wait one second. Move 10 steps. Check if it's on the edge. Check the rotation. Change. I need another wait. Otherwise, it will move it so quickly, we won't see it again. Now let's have a go. Click. Goes to blue, goes to pink. All right, let's do it again. Goes to blue, goes to pink in one second. Now I would have to keep pushing my green flag, wouldn't I, to change colour every time. All right. And that would take a long time. So I'm going to show you a new instruction. So, so far we've changed the background to fishes. We have got two fishes and we've changed the costume of our little fish, haven't we? And we've chosen different fishes. And now we're going to show you a sandwich. Sounds fun. I'm going to go to this forever sandwich. It's in, all right, the control. And last year we called it a forever sandwich because it's like a sandwich. What, this is the top slice of bread and this is the bottom slice of the bread and whatever happens goes inside it. A bit like a puzzle piece. You can see our codes fit like a puzzle piece together. So I can move these out here and put my forever sandwich in. And then I can put these inside. So whatever instructions are in my forever sandwich, it keeps going and going and going until I tell it to stop. Okay, move 30 steps, if on edge bounce, set rotation, 
to right and left. So now if I click it, my little fish is flapping away at the bottom. All right. And then when I push the red, it stops. Now, if I go to my pink fish up here, I can put my forever sandwich around changing the costume. Oh, let's just move it because it's missed my costume out of the sandwich. All right, so make sure everything you put in goes in that sandwich. Now, if I push the green button at the top, it will change from pink to blue. And he's moving quite slowly, isn't he, across the screen. All right, so let's push the red button and let's move a little bit faster. So let's move our variable from 10 to 20 and push my green flag and see if he goes a little bit faster. A little bit. All right, he's a big fish, he's moving a little bit slow. If I push my red button and then push my green, got a very fast fish at the bottom and a very changing color fish across the top. Let's stop. Now my yellow, yellow, little yellow fish at the bottom, it's giving me a bit of a headache. So I'm gonna make him move a little bit slower. Okay. Let's push the green flag. That's better. All right. So that is your task today. I want you to create a fish tank. All right. Find the background that you choose. You've got a choice of two. Change your sprite so they are fishes. And then you can, let me just push the button to stop it. You can go on to the fish costumes. And there will be four, and you can choose whichever fish you want to go along the bottom. Please don't choose a crab or an octopus. I think there is, you might be able to find in the animals. Choose two fish for me, all right? And then choose the costume of the fish at the bottom. And then the fish at the top, I want you to create it so it's bigger. And then have a go at duplicating the color and changing the costume. Now this has moved on quite quickly from last week's session. All right, so have a go and tinker after you have finished this task, all right, using some of the other things on Scratch or having a go at tinkering some of the codes. But first of all, please persevere to do the task that has been given to you today. Good luck, I hope you enjoy it. All right, and have fun. Okay, let me just take care, enjoy.